Hi, wow. It's been a long, long, long time. Good evening, good morning, good afternoon, wherever you are all over the world. Whoa! My name is Bolandi Enang and I am a family life enthusiast. Goodness, it's been ages. I know, I know. But I'm back. I really am back. Believe me, I'm back. And it's so nice to see people. It's nice to be back. It's nice to join you on what I now call Family Life Series. Exactly. It's Family Life Series with Bolandi Enang. Amazing, amazing. You can see it's 8 o'clock in South Africa. But here I am, all the way from Johannesburg, South Africa, recording for the first time in about a year and a half. But I'd like to thank everybody who's reached out to me. I'd like to thank everybody who said, Oh, well, Ali, where have you been? How's it been? It's been a lot going on, but all good things. I know the pandemic has been on. I know that people have been going through a lot. But can I just encourage you today? I am glad to be here. I'm glad to know that your families are well, and I hope you are also well. So for those who don't know me, and who will watch this replay, um, or who will join us live, my name is Bolan Lee Daniel Enang, and I am a family life enthusiast. What that means is that I'm excited about families, and I look forward to families becoming stronger, stronger, stronger than what they are every day is another opportunity to grow to learn and to become better okay because this has been such a long time coming <laughs> i feel that i should give you a quick catch up on what's been going on so in the last two years i have been able to complete two degrees a postgraduate diploma at the university of pretoria and a master's degree at the university of pretoria and my focus is on family ministries um and that's why you're kind of okay why do we do this in the introduction that i put down there i said that it takes a fat a village to raise a child have you heard that before i know many of us quote that many of us talk about the fact that it does take a village to raise the child but can i tell you something that i have learned in the last two years that i've been away that who you are as a parent seems to be much more important than what you say you want to be or what you say you are doing as a parent the being actually comes before the doing you cannot parent a child without looking back reflecting on yourself and almost reparenting yourself i've had the opportunity to listen to a few people whom i will bring to you um you know just talk about them talk about the kinds of work that they're doing um those are people that i will almost be showcasing in the next few months of 2020. So, I said your seatbelt. Let's get this party going. I know. So, how have you been? You want to put in the comment there how you are, who you are. Thank you for joining tonight. Whether you're on Facebook or, or you're on YouTube, I am excited to have you. So, what am I? What am I doing for the next few? months of the year 2022 i'm going to be bringing you resources research and uh, lots of tips and points on what you as a parent can do to make sure that your family is doing a lot better so i always call this strong and connected families listen have you heard this before correction is always better correction before connection no it is connection before correction that's a line that i've used a lot and i was privileged to be part of a training by a lady called wendy Oloke. she is amazing look for her she's a fantastic parenting coach and she was also alluding to this whole issue of um connection i also listened to somebody else um and a, who basically is based in america and she was also talking about connection and correction can i tell you i'm going to show you there is a book in my library that I should have brought out before starting to make another. This is one of the books that has revolutionized my life. I love this. How to grow a connected family. It's such an important thing. How do you grow a connected family? Tell me. How? What does connection look like in your family? Tell me. If your child 
were to talk to another person today would they say would your child say oh yeah our family is connected we love each other or my mom hi auntie polo thanks so much for joining will your family any member of your family say oh no i love being at home that's a very important question so when we start this series i'm starting this series in the next few few uh, months and what we're going to be doing is 30 minutes of bringing amazing people you know they're super people that's why i started by saying it takes a village to raise a child a village but you as a parent you, it also takes a village to raise a parent you cannot do this by yourself hey pollution i know it's been two years or so i know thanks for joining <laughs> it takes a village to raise a child did you know that it is so much better for us to work with you the mom or the dad or the granny and that way when we do that your family becomes better honestly i have worked with children i've been working with children now for more than 25 years i've been working with children and I've come to find out that a lot of things that go on in the lives of children are directly influenced by their parents. So who are you? Moms and dads, one of the things that I say is that your life right now is a mirror of your child's future. Take that in. Your own life right now. How you work, how you dress, how you eat, what you eat, where you go, the kind of friends you have, the kind of spiritual development you have, whether you're a Christian or non-Christian, where you get your spirituality from, how your child sees life, depends on you. Believe it or not. 95% of children, according to research, take up the philosophy of life of their parents. Believe me, parents, you are highly influential. What does that mean? Let me bring you closer to me. What does that mean? You're highly influential. What you do matters in the life of your children. How you speak matters in the life of your children. So, what does it mean to have a connected family? What does a strong family look like to you? For me, it's a lot of things. Did you know something as simple as how my children show, how they go to school in the morning is critical for me. In fact, that's one of the recent things I had to deal with as a parent. So this idea of my children going to school, crying every morning, you know, being stressed, because I'm very late back somehow. My husband is more, guys, we can't be late. Now I'm like, ah, that 30 minutes, it's 30 minutes to the time. In fact, can I tell you something that happened to me? We had sports there at my children's school and the kids had to go with me. Oh my gosh, they were upset. You know why? Because mommy was taking her time and i was making them late there were tears and mommy we don't want to be late now i realized that is a challenge with how i look at timing so what is it that you're you're struggling with as a family those are things i want you to think about today in the next few weeks like i said to you we're going to be talking a lot about how to build strong and connected families so i have said um, we're going to be doing things that I write for sure is so critical that we as parents ensure that our children are showing up right. But they can't show up right without you and I showing up right. Do you see what I'm saying here? Our children show up the way we show up in life. So how are you showing up? So I think my big question this morning, afternoon, evening, whenever it is that you've been listening to this, is how um, how are you doing? Pandemic has been on, I know. How are you doing? How's your parents? How are your kids? How's your marriage? How's your relationship going? How is it at work? What's going on with you? If you do not reflect, you cannot go forward. Growth is critical in this thing. Don't say to yourself, oh, well, I look, this is how I've always been. This is what I know. You can do better. Is this the best that you can really be? Remember, you are the best parent for your child. But depending on how you show up, <laughs> that showing up is so important. Every morning when you wake up, depending on how 
you show it reflects on the investment you're putting in your home and the cumulative effect becomes your family becomes what you want it to be actually such as what you want it to be your family becomes who you are how many people are going through so much turmoil today how many families how many people have traumatic remember you know effects of what has happened to them over years over the years and now as you're a parent you're expected to show up in a certain way but you don't know how to show up because you're struggling and if a parent is struggling guess what we should do get help yes and that's why Bolan is here as one of your family friends have you noticed how you can listen to your family friends and talk to your family friends about challenges that you're going through. Well, I do that. I ask questions. Like I said to you, this is one of the books that has thoroughly blessed me. It's called How to Grow a Connected Family. I've got quite a few of them that by, oh, James and Lynn Jackson, you have seen me put up this book. Connection is critical. So today, I want you to put it in the chat box. How are you? How, what does connection look like to you? Moms and dads, what does connection look like to you? You, you, not your mom, not your dad, not what you heard growing up. What does connection look like to you? Hi, phone care. What does connection look like to you? For every family, it's different. For you, what does connection look like? What kind of family? What's your vision for your family? You see how a lot of people talk about five-year plan, two years plan. Oh, thank God for this last pandemic. Because there's so much going on. It shook us to our core. How has it shaken your family? What has this, the last two years or so, what are the effects? The effects? That the pandemic has had in your family are you closer or are you farther away have you been reflecting or are you still in oblivion you know oblivion are you still carrying on like nothing has happened moms and dads lots are happening so i'm asking you again how are you Today is about you. How do we grow strong and connected families without us going back to us and reflecting on who we are? How have you shown up at work? How have you shown up in your office space? How are you showing up at home? I know a lot of us are office spaces at home became the office your kitchen cabinet became the office and sometimes the ability to balance both office life the home life difficult i get that but i'm asking you moms and dads today to take a deep breath Ooh, does that happen to you sometimes <laughs> i just want to lose it hi hi z hi <laughs> dear sometimes i just want to lose it did i share the story with you how when the pandemic started oh my gosh my children wanted something i was so stressed out and i just said get out of my house out i mean out into the garden mommy have your parents ever done this to you before i know that was terrible but that was my wake up call so this moment in time i want to ask you again mom and dad how are you doing are you good are you sleeping well because sleep is such a big thing in parenting have you noticed how when you're grumpy when you do not sleep well oh shout out to all the young parents shout out to all the parents who are not sleeping properly right now if you can please sleep well it affects how you show up in the morning are you taking stabber are you resting 
Are you finding time to reflect on your own life? It takes a lot. Parenting is not for sissies. Parenting is hard work. I think that's something I never thought about as a growing child. I just thought that it kicks in naturally. Newsflash. Nope, it doesn't. So how are you showing? That's important. That's my number two question. How are you, moms and dads? And number two, how are you showing up? Number three, what do you want your family to look like? What? How does it how does it feel when you're walking into your family on a Monday evening? That's after work on Monday. And what makes you happy? What do you see about your family that gives you joy? Because you know it's critical for you to then decide what are my parameters? What's important for me as a parent? It's not what's important for my neighbor. What's important for me? And if you are blessed to be in a beautiful relationship in a marriage in a committed relationship or your co-parenting i want to ask you to please have this conversation with the other parents because one of the things that i find that brings a lot of conflict in adult relationships in marriages in parenting and in committed relationships is the fact that we do not discuss this matters so A wants to parent in a certain way and B wants to parent in another way. And so we begin to fight. There are conflicts. So put in there how you are. How are you showing up right now? But the most important question is how do you want to show up? And number three, what do you want your family to look like? So for me, God first is such a big thing. God, for me, is the center of my life. And if God is the center of my life, clearly I want to bring him into my home. I want to make sure my children, my husband, and I are working in such a way that we are ensuring that our home is God first. What is it like in your home? What is your number one priority? What is your number one priority? What is it that is a non-negotiable? I want you to put it down for yourself. Because that's where we work from. We start working from our priority. So for those who are joining, I'm doing a quick recap. How are you? How are you showing up? How would you like to show up? And what would you like your family to look like? What? Do you have a family vision? So in the next few weeks, these are things we're going to be talking about at this time, okay? If you join me every Sunday, except I tell you, oh, I'm not coming live, but I'll let you know. We're family friends, okay? Family friends. So. This is how I want you to look at this parenting journey. On your own, you cannot do it. But with God on your side, with support like Paula, friends and family, we can make the world a better place. I'm leaving you this moment into the safe and loving arms of God. For those who just feel, I'm not doing a great job, can I tell you again? reassure you and challenge you to start changing how you think and can i challenge you to say to yourself i am the best parent for my child and depending on your investment one day the child will come back and say mommy thank you so you're going to write out how you are quick reflection I'm happy, I'm feeling good, I'm ready for tomorrow, <laughs> I'm ready for the week, I'm looking forward to a peaceful week. How are you showing up? How are you going to show up this week? Strong, 
committed, able to go forward, dejected, sad, listening. However way you feel right now is how you feel, but you can pull yourself up. So my challenge, decide who you are going to be this week. And finally, what kind of family do you want for yourself? Children are a reflection of their parents. Let's parent ourselves again. Reparent, unparent. You know that whole thing about learn, unlearn, relearn. Let's reparent ourselves. What are your non-negotiables? From next week, we're going to start series and I'm going to bring one beautiful topic after the other in fact if there are things you want to ask me sometimes parents ask about how do i build a confident child how do i make sure my family is connected connection is such a big thing for me i want you to remember that the more you connect the less you correct Ooh, get that in the more you connect the less you correct i'm looking forward to spending this time with you about 30 minutes every sunday evening south african time eight o'clock um where we will talk together as family friends i'm a family life but i want to be your family friend come on where we'll talk a lot about how to build stronger and connected family don't give up on yourself don't give up on your home wherever you are today somebody said to me whenever you wake up is morning <laughs> no matter where you are whether it's a good place or a bad place you can do this you can get better you can get stronger your home can become everything that god wants it to be and everything that you would like to be all right so I'm gonna see you again. I promise to be back next week, same time, God willing. And if there's anything you'd like me to talk about, please kindly send to me. Drop it on my Facebook page, on my YouTube channel, Bali and All right, the family life enthusiast. I'll see you again, and um, we'll talk. All right, take care of you. And look, I'll see you next time. God bless you. Enjoy your day. And remember, families are to be enjoyed and not endured. Care to walk with you. God bless you. Good night. Love you, Lord. Bye.